Okay, then here's the second version of this. Let's hope we get a, a better quality picture on it. So, we are going to start a new project for a MIDI instrument. Big yellow button, top right hand corner, new project. Click that. Then it comes up, brand new project, it's untitled. Uh, I'm going to change that title to something new. MIDI lesson. And then click on the yellow open button. Starts as a brand new project. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is to sort out the tempo that you want the song to be. Now at the top it says tempo 120. Now if you double click on that you can change that 120 to be something else. I'm going to change it to 100. Now next to the uh, tempo, the BPM 100, there is a little metronome triangle. You need to click that as well to turn on the metronome. So the metronome will start playing when we start recording. So we need to record a track. So we're going to take the UVI workstation sampler, which you will find in the plugin section at the bottom right hand corner of the window, UVI workstation sampler, click on that and hold and drag that into the grey area, the mixer area at the bottom. It's now created rack one, which you can see highlighted in yellow, of a UVI workstation plugin. And we need to sort of enable this, this uh, UVI workstation and define the instrument that we're going to uh, play. So on the rack, it's quite small, but there is a little E button up here in the rack. You click on that and it opens up the UVI workstation viewer. So there's no instrument defined at the moment. We need to do that. Double click to open browser it says and we'll do exactly that. And now we can browse through a number of presets. We're going to go for ohm plug, keyboards, acoustic, acoustic grand piano. And then down the bottom of this workstation window it's got an OK button so click on OK. It's now loaded up <clears throat> the acoustic grand piano and we don't need this window anymore so we'll just get rid of it by pressing the little red X there. Um, you probably got it on the right hand side, top right hand side on a Windows machine. Okay that's defined the instrument we want to play. Now we want to record it. So you've got to remember you've got to do three things. You have to arm the track you have to press record and you have to press play. Now arming the track there's a tiny little red dot here in the rack. Click on that and you see it changes colour. It's also highlighted the record button. Click on the record button. You see now we have on our track highlighted in pink the track we're going to record on and all we need to do now is press the play button a little white triangle there or press the space bar on the keyboard. So when I do this it should start the metronome clicking and I'll be able to play along with it. Stop that, I press the uh, triangle. Sorry, the square, square stop button. So now we've got that. Our uh, playhead, the yellow line going vertically down the screen, that's where, whenever we start play, that's where it will start playback from. It's obviously in the wrong place. So we need to get that to the beginning of the song press return on your keyboard and that will take it to the beginning and we can then press the triangle again 
to play back what we've just recorded. There we go, press the stop button. That's recorded one track. Let's just do the same again. We'll add another track, another UVI workstation track, and do it exactly the same way. UVI workstation sampler down in the plugins area. Click on that and drag it into the mixer area. So we've added a second UVI workstation instrument. It's going to be a blank instrument at the moment, so we need to enable it and select a particular sound. So clicking on the E button. Then double click to open browser, UVI, uh, no, unplug, uh, this time I go orchestral, pizzicato strings, and then press on the OK button down here towards the bottom of this window. It now loads up the pizzicato strings into the UVI workstation. Again, get rid of that window, but I don't really need to uh, see it. So we're ready to record the next track, and it's the same thing. Arm the track, record, play, those three things. So here we go, arm the track, click on record. Oh, haha. Of course my uh, yellow line, the uh, playback head, is just there at bar six. Mustn't forget to put that back to the beginning, otherwise the recording will start there at about bar 6. So press return to get back to the beginning before I press the play button. So you got that? Arm the track. Record. Play. Rose, let's go. <laughs> recording. We now have a second track. So let's return to the beginning of the track. Um, let's turn off the, the metronome and play it all back. This time I'm going to press the space bar on the keyboard. And there you have it. The next thing you've got to do is invite some other other own members to add to these uh, add tracks to this song. So that's very simple. You just click up in the right hand corner. It says export and invite. You click on the invite button and you type into this little field here the name of the user that you would like to invite. So in this case, we're going to put in Sarah Moggy which of course is Graham. Click on invite and that invitation has been sent. Then click on close and that's it. Job done. Thank you for listening.